We all need to count our pennies, and in this cost of living special, I'm going to show you how. So let's start the show. If you find that you are turning the cold water tap on immediately when you have the hot water tap on in the shower, that means that you are having it way too hot. In order to mitigate this, you will need to lower the heat thermostat. So we had it in the medium position back then, but now we are having it at 25%. So we are basically not using as much hot water and you will be saving money in the long run. And I think this is especially useful in this energy crisis we are facing this winter. Anyone fancy a cup of tea? Whether you are using a kettle on the hob or the electric kettle, in order to help you with your pennies and save on cost of living because of the energy crisis, it is best to fill it up to the amount that you need rather than filling it up to the brim because you're basically wasting a lot of energy and I think the money w would be better used elsewhere, don't you think? Because you haven't filled it up all the way, it isn't going to take as long to boil. So, the tea will be done in a much quicker fashion. Oh, perfect! A great way to save on your newspapers is to take out a subscription on your favorite newspaper. Take some time to reflect on today's show and then please subscribe. Cooking food in a conventional oven is one of the most expensive ways to make your food. Unless, of course, you are making it in bulk, which is highly recommended. So here are some other gadgets and, and electronic equipment that you could use to save on the energy bills. The first we have is the slow cooker. You put whatever you need in here. I predominantly use them for stews and I pop it on in the morning and I 
add some liquid to it and I normally make like a beef stew or like a chicken casserole type of dish and then it normally takes about six to eight hours to cook so it is ideal if you are going to work the whole day and you just want to have a nice dinner at the end of the day so I would recommend this for sure. The next one we have along is the pressure cooker. I've only used this a couple of times, but I will probably be using it more in the future. You add, so you saute whatever food you want, and then you, you also have to add some water to it to help with the with the boiling and the pressure because that is what helps cook the meal inside the pressure cooker so don't forget to add that but this is rather time efficient and it does leave your food tasting delicious one of my favorites and i am really glad that i bought this is the air fryer the air fryer is very very quick there is a few settings there is the air fry setting then there is the what's the other setting there is the roast setting and then there's reheat and dehydrate but i but i mostly use the first two that i mentioned um so it leaves your food feeling crispy and tasty and i think that it's a really efficient way to cook and it's great to for people that are looking after their weight and people that have high cholesterol and things like that Last, but definitely not the least, is the Humble Microwave Oven. Ours is a convection oven. We could bake in it, and we could also microwave as standard microwaves do. But this is the most power-efficient equipment to have in order to help you save on your energy bills this winter. For further information on energy efficiency on any of these devices, please look at the link below now.